A nearly 90-year-old gem found inside Wichita's original airport connects the air capital with a man who was a giant in aviation history. Case Lily Wu takes a closer look at this artifact, and you've got to see it, <laughs> at the Kansas Aviation Museum, new at 5. About once a year, hidden treasures are found inside the archives at the Kansas Aviation Museum. This week, one of these treasures was found. Okay, it's a receipt, and I noticed the, the signature. I'm going like, well, this is special. <laughs> it's special for the museum's curator, David Moreno. This nearly 90-year-old treasure was found in a box. It's surprising that it survived. It's not surprising that he was here. He made a number of trips here. He is Colonel Charles A. Lindbergh the first pilot to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. Charles Lindbergh, of course, was here numerous times and uh, again helped pick the site for this airport. The original Wichita Municipal Airport was put on the map in part due to Lindbergh. He determined that the air capital of the world should be on the major flight route between New York and L.A. There's even a special tribute for him at the historic terminal. It's beautiful. It's the largest cartholite panel in Wichita and it depicts the spirit of St. Louis approaching the coast of Ireland. During one of his many stops in Wichita, he apparently bought fuel here in 1928. It's a receipt that carries much significance. To have a record like that, his signature on a receipt for, for gas, that, okay, indeed, he was here. He signed something and we have a record of it. Uh, that's pretty amazing. Curators of the museum are hopeful to discover more artifacts of this significance. They're all important, but you know, you find something like that every once in a while and it's just a gem. A special exhibit related to Lindbergh will be on display here at the Kansas Aviation Museum on Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Reporting in Southeast Wichita, Lily Wu, Cake News.